Hi, welcome back. This is Fred with more Thoughts from the Deep. Today I want to revisit an underappreciated member of the reef community, the largest Mithrax crab in the western Atlantic. Enlarge your screen and stay to the end. We'll start with a large male. He turns his back on me to display a scary face. It begs the question, why does it clearly look like a face and how does the crab know to display it? Commonly called the channel clinging crab or Caribbean king crab, this is Mithrax spinosissimus. In order to get this footage, I went down at night, diving to the base of a wreck a bit over 90 feet. I documented 11 adult crabs, some out feeding, some hiding deep in the wreck. These crabs are listed as omnivores, but the net effect they have in the reef environment is to be the most important consumer of plant matter. They eat a wide range of plants, including some that are toxic to fish and urchins, which make them critical to the health of the coral reef. They are appreciated by aquarists who keep species from both the Atlantic and the Pacific to clean algae from their tanks. If you try to search for information on this group of crabs, you will quickly notice there is very little published information on them. The last scientific papers on them that I could find come from the late 80s when they were being considered as a mariculture subject. They have opposable digits which allow them to pick algae quite precisely and groom coral without damaging the delicate and critical edges of the coral colony. They clean the surface of dead reef structure without grinding, removing, or degrading it, unlike urchins and parrotfish. They are exquisitely sensitive to pesticides. Onshore spraying for mosquitoes will wipe out offshore crabs. Runoff water from golf courses have been shown to be very destructive to nearby coral reef, adding fertilizer which makes algae grow and pesticide that kills the crabs that might control the algae. They are difficult to study while they are on the reef. During the day they hide in holes and crevices. Their color and texture blend with the rock found in such holes. They will carry seaweed to their hiding places to snack on during the day. They are quite shy, hiding from divers and easily startled by movement, noise, and light. They are quite comfortable hiding in small groups, although in my experience, these groups contain only one male. Mithrax crabs, like other crab species, are known to have multiple broods from a single mating. Females carry and incubate their eggs under their tail. You can see them here. The females ventilate the eggs by pumping their tails up and down. They have huge numbers of spawn. When it is time, the female crab will head to a high point in her area and flap her tail hard to release the hatching babies who will begin to swim away. Like other animals with an exoskeleton, they grow in punctuated bursts. They store up energy, shed their outer skin, and harden a new, larger skin in a process called molting. The babies are swimmers for the first couple of molts. Then they molt into something more like their adult form and settle to the bottom. They eat tremendous amounts of algae and whatever else to fuel this growth process. From the time they leave the shelter of their mother's tail to the time they approach adult size, just about every fish on the reef will pursue and eat them. The attrition is tremendous. It is estimated that out of a million spawn, only one reaches adult size. I hope you liked this video. Remember to share it with your friends, use the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Crab signing off with respect.